Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam. I know, I know it's been three months since I have not uploaded any video and I have been super busy creating so many use cases and articles and writing posts on LinkedIn. If you're already following me on LinkedIn and Twitter, so you might have already been updated with the, you know, the latest articles that I've been writing. Okay, uh, so I know that I'm back after three months, but yeah. So today what we are going to look at is going to be an amazing use case of AI Center. So this is going to be fun. At the same time, a very serious topic. Now, when, when we say a serious topic, uh, let's talk about this use case. So I just heard about a story and I have researched about it a little bit. And then I found out that if you take out an estimation of railway track accidents overall in India or any other country, so according to the statistics of Google, it's just the Google statistics, right? So according to the statistics, there were 27,000 plus or almost 28,000 accidents in 2019, which declined to 13,000 accidents in 2020. So how did this happen? How did this drastic reduce in the accidents of railway tracks happen? The report for the details as there are many, you know, 11,000 or somewhere accidents during the past year, which is like 2021. So the number is still reducing. But in, not in India, but in outer countries, AI and ML is being used on a very higher scale to avoid these accidents. Now, majority of the train tracks are now going under metros and uh, you can say tunnels. Now, when these tunnels are being created, they are also highly monitored that a human does not enter this, should not enter these tunnels, right? So that's what we are looking at. And if we need to maintain such high level of security that a human should not enter into any of the tunnels, then we have we cannot monitor each and every tunnel continuously by human being. So we have to take help of robots here. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to quickly look at a very quick, um, very easy use case, which we can also build using our UiPath uh, software, right? Uh, which is a very simple using UiPath AI Center, a powerful. Uh, you know, machine learning integration, which is which we do with UiPath RPA product, and we are going to use one of the object detection model, okay, which is uh, available in UiPath AI Center. Using this model, what we are going to do is we are going to create a scenario, a hypothetical scenario. For example, as of now, we have a CCTV footage camera of every tunnel, and the CCTV footage camera snaps each and every image for a for a certain frequency and our bot is continuously monitoring that snapshots from the screenshots or from the CCTV footage, right? Now this CCTV footage is being snapped every five seconds and 10 seconds. Also, you can go ahead and if you increase the frequency, if you increase your uh, infra, then you can put a live video recording monitoring as well. But the whole intention is to alert immediately any security nearby that a human has entered into a tunnel. And once human enters the tunnel, then immediately that security email will be sent to the nearest security department. Each and every tunnel will have their own robots running and will be monitoring continuously to verify whether a human is detected inside the tunnel or not. And the CCTV cameras obviously are 24 by seven. And that's where robots come into picture because human cannot monitor 24 by seven without taking any breaks, but robots can do that. And that is the biggest advantage that we have. Okay, a lot of talking now, let's quickly get back to actually working. So what we have created, so we have a very small uh, UiPath workflow. What it does, basically it collects all the images from the CCTV snapshots. As of now, I have captured a couple of only sample images because we are creating a hypothetical scenario. If there are no images, then it will simply close. Uh, obviously there will be images, uh, but it is going to be in a loop, right? So it detects intrusion in each image. So for each image, it will try to detect any intrusion. It will try to predict if there is a new human in a region where it is not supposed to be, okay? And if human is detected, obviously it will immediately inform security department by sending an email. As of now, I have just kept a very simple, drastic, small email to my own Gmail ID. And then it will go ahead and check the next frame. And again, similarly, it goes back and checks if the next image is available or not. As simple as that, right? And for this, I have used object detection machine learning model. Now, let's go ahead and let's quickly start. But before starting, let me show you the data. So in the in output data, there's no information. In the input data, we have nine odd images okay so the first image is p1 i have just captured this random images from google obviously nobody's going to stand like this on a railway track but yeah this is a human being on a railway track this is a human being uh inside a tunnel this is a human being uh there is a human being also but here there is a helmet so let's predict 
and let's see if bot can detect this or not i captured this images from google because these are the only images i got for a human being inside the tunnel okay now here there is somebody surveying it inside the tunnel now here there's no one so this is going to be clean sheet for the robot here there's no one and here there are a couple of more people like more than one or two and here there is a image of a person but it's very radical small right now let's run the bot for all of these images and let's see how much time it takes first of all to detect and then what kind of information it sends to the robot okay that's what we are going to check so let's quickly go ahead and let's say run now as we have executed let's quickly go to output so that live we can able to see what is happening now here currently i am not using any kind of uh, um, you can say you know on premises infra i just have a cloud based ai center which is also trial based so that's why you know i don't have a gpu obviously that's why the processing is a little bit of slow but if you have gpu it's going to be much much more faster so as you can see the first image is already processed and it has already detected with the 98% of accuracy that it is a person okay even though a person is not that clearly visible the face is not visible but obviously from the figure and the from the legs and hands this visible that it's a person in the second image as you can see i am zooming in you can see that with the 99% of accuracy it has predicted that it's a human let's close this one the third image obviously it has again predicted that it's a human even though human is facing backwards right so any image which looks like a human being it will automatically predict it and this is obviously a 100% accurate image a uh, 100% accuracy of prediction and here also a 99% accuracy prediction that it's a human and we have couple of like 7 to 8 images so as you can see bot is processing one by one each and every image and it is detecting as well now the now the the most interesting part is where the person is not there right so let's see what bot predicts exactly now in this image as there is no human being so bot is not predicting anything so this is a clean sheet for the bot for such kind of a case bot won't send any email or alert any security team we can also take help of physical robots to keep detection and as soon as a human being is detected that security bot can you know a physical security bot can you know create a awareness that please get out of this tunnel or exit as soon as possible some kind of a message so that this human is informed okay now the bot has processed 1 minute 55 seconds for seven images and it says closing uh, because of no more processing data go back and see it has also predicted even though there are four people it has predicted all four people as persons that is perfect now what kind of a security message it will send to the security i as i told you i am just creating hypothetical scenario so i have sent an email to myself now there are these images six emails okay as you can see email with a title of a personal intrusion internal personal intrusion internal warning attached image of a person intruding tunnel along with the time stamp right now this email obviously can be modified and can be you know even more better and this is not supposed to be just an email it's a, it is supposed to be a like a dashboard live dashboard where immediate intrusion will be sent all six images i have got over the email that's perfect right so i just used gmail smtp mechanism here to send out an email from the ui part so this is the use case which we have talked about now this use case can be highly scaled and used beyond just tunnels and can be used on many of the platforms such as you know wherever there is a restriction for a human being that a human is not supposed to be there for example electrical uh, power generators or uh, you know any warehouses where human is not supposed to be there for a specific period of time for example or maybe for a full day or maybe it is not at all important for that human to be there right so in that cases you can use cctv footage to detect a human and to avoid human being there and to avoid the huge ambiguity of a human detecting all this we can put up a robot that's the simple idea and the whole idea i hope you have liked this video a lot and if you want to know how we have created this bot then i am just looking forward to see more than 1000 views at least because i know it's been my mistake that i have been completely uh, you know off the charts since last 3 months but yeah i'm back and soon i'll be creating much more videos again thank you so much for your love and uh, as always happy automation